today, how much do you make per month? So every month it varies. It's between $25,000 to $30,000. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've actually have had, um, you know, some requests where, you know, some fans want me to be mean to them. Oh, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the time maybe you're 35 or 40, if you play the game right, you could be completely retired and live of your income that you've created. Right. Yesenia, what is today at 29 years old your net worth? Hey guys, welcome to the show. You will find that my face is a pinch blurry through the beginning of the video. I apologize for that. It was a big day. I was on my own and I messed it up, but I hope that you enjoy the show because trust me, it's worth it. Welcome to Money Exposed, the show where we expose successful individuals, story, finance, and net worth. My name is Roman and today I am with Yesenia. Yesenia. How are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing great. Yesenia, let's look at your profile. You are 29 years old. You're originally from Yakima, which mm -hmm. is about two hours from Seattle. And ladies and gentlemen, here I have an OnlyFans model that ranks within the top 0.3% on the platform. You have a half a million followers on Instagram and hundreds of thousands of likes on your content. Yes. Guys, this is going to be very exciting as we discover the finance of a successful individual in this industry. Let's dive right into the subject. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about how did you end up in this industry? Um, so I was dancing for a long time. Um, I used to follow this girl on Instagram. I really liked um, how she promoted herself. She seemed to be doing really well on the platform. So for a while, I kind of just watched, you know, other girls who were very success successful, including her. And I just became interested one day and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it. Nice. Yeah. The one thing that held me back um, from not doing it was because I knew that, you know, with an OnlyFans, you have to put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't know if I was like ready to do that yet. Okay. I mean, uh, you know, the story definitely has paid out as Yesenia guys has an incredible income you will be very surprised so stick with us as we go through the different streams of income as well that the platform offers yeah. so you originally were starting as a dancer i imagine an industry that also pays quite a bit how much were you making at the time um around fifteen thousand a month Woo, fifteen thousand. Yeah. okay <laughs> and that is working how many days a week uh, three days a week that's it yeah that's it wow in seattle in Seattle, yeah. Okay. And that, at some point, you pretty much got into a rocket, and that brought you now to the point yeah. where you are within some of the top uh, only fan creators, yeah. and that brings you an incredible income, which will dive right away, guys, into the income and assets. Today, how much do you make per month? So every month it varies. It's between $25,000 to $30,000. Woo! <laughs> okay. $25,000, $30,000. Mm -hmm. And that is purely through subscriptions? Uh, subscription, messages, tips, um, I see. photo set requests, custom requests. So, so let's actually split that up just so that I can get a better grasp on the industry itself. How okay. much do you make from subscriptions? Um, around 16,000. Okay, so that's kind of your bread and butter. That's kind of yeah. your base. And that is based of how many fans? Around 1,500 to 2,000. Okay, so okay. not a crazy cohort, yeah. but still, you know, you need to get payments from those consumers every month. Yeah. And you cater through them through a kind of a basic package that brings them into the funnel. Right. Is that right? Correct, yeah. With affordable pricing? Yes, of course. That has been kind of your strategy. Yes. So you, that's kind of the first entry door to your business. But what do you do then with this cohort of fans? Um, so once they subscribed, um, my fans are able to purchase a, a messages, okay. um, which is more explicit content that I send out. Oh, I through see. a message, yeah. Mass message. Mass message. And what is it? Like videos? Um, It's videos, yes. Oh, okay. So there is a kind of a paywall on those yes, videos. Yes, a and paywall on the videos. Um, it's like, um, sometimes I even sell videos like behind the scenes, okay, like what I'm doing, like while I'm doing a shoe, you know, so it's very raw and unedited. It's just me. I see. Mm -hmm. And, uh, how much do, do you charge for those? 15 to like 30, but sometimes I'll give a deal out and I'll even do as low as like $4, wow. just depending on the length. Yeah. I see. Just to kind of get the, yeah, the, yeah. an impression here. Okay. So that uh, message aspect generates to you how much? 
Um, for messages around 10,000. Per month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Per month. And then the last one that you mentioned as well was uh, tips? Tips, yes. And that's just kind of like people tipping you here yeah, and there? They like a picture or a photo set that I posted. Or sometimes it's just like a request like, hey, can you send me a picture of this or that? Oh, I see. How much do you charge on those requests? Um, it depends on the length, but I started at 120 for a custom. Oh, I see. And a custom can be, what, like a message? What does, um, what's the nature of that? A custom can be um, something specific. I have a lot of like feet lovers. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so I see. A, a custom is just, it's always like so random. It could be a message of me, you know, greeting them, saying, you know, hello, or my name's, you know, so-and-so, nice to meet you, you know. I've actually have had, um, you know, some requests where, you know, some fans want me to be mean to them. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> mean, that's kind of a new trend? Yeah, I guess it's a new trend. Yeah. Wow, okay. So they are paying $120 for them to pretty much tell Yeah, them, just oh, me, yeah. send them a mean message, you know. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. I love doing those, actually. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so those are some of my faves. I see. <laughs> uh, okay, any other form of income from those messages? So I offer face calls. Oh. So it's like a FaceTime. It's kind of like a way to like meet me, you know, more like on a personal level. Wow. And uh, mm -hmm. how much do you charge for that? 120. 120. How mm -hmm. long is it? 10 minutes. That's it. And and how is that kind of relationship with the person when you speak with them? I guess it's like meeting another person. I, it's like meeting another person. I feel like sometimes they're a little shocked. They're like, oh my God, you're real. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see. Okay. I guess, the guys, there's an industry for everything. And yeah. uh, we do cater for the finances around that front. But look at uh, 29 years old. Yesenia, that brings your stream, uh, that brings your annual income to... $360,000, which is insane. Looking at how do you compare against mm -hmm. the median in the United States? So 50% make less, 50% make more. For your age bracket between 25 and 34 years old, the median is at $51,000. So you're making, poof, what? <laughs> more than uh, seven times the median wow. income, uh, which definitely is a profitable industry. Okay. So this is on that front, but I'm sure uh, with that much amount of money, you've been able to accumulate quite a bit of assets. Yes. Okay. So let's look a little bit together into that. Mm -hmm. Checking account, you have a balance, yes, and you have five thousand mm dollars. -hmm. So you're kind of keeping that balance fairly stable, because yeah, I like to keep it that way because I'm kind of a shopper. Oh, and I like to shop, so yes, I can see in some so, of your statements, yeah, you, you so, spend quite so, a bit. So if I don't, you know, do that, then I'll end up spending a lot more than what I planned for. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, perfectly fair, 5,000, especially as we compare, ladies and gentlemen, to the second account, the saving account. <laughs> yes, and yeah, at 29 years old, you are showing an astonishing $200,000 on that saving account. Uh, it is magic to my eyes, but I also see that you're only keeping that in your saving account, which might not be the best option. And we'll be discussing that slightly later as we think about uh, potential investment opportunities. Moving on to some of the rest of your assets, you also have a car. How, what do you drive? I drive a Honda Pilot. Wow. Okay. How much did you buy that car? 55,000. Okay. 50,000. How many miles does it has? 22,000. 22,000. Okay, so it's pretty recent, right? Mm -hmm. And this price, you probably bought it new. Yes. Okay, looking at the KD Blue Book value for it right now, it is at $44,000. Oh, not bad. Not bad at <laughs> all. But you do carry a loan on this of about $10,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you uh, are doing pretty good on this. Why are you carrying that loan? Um, so I just bought a house mm. and they recommended that I don't, um, pay it off because that, that, yes. was, that was my plan because I'm so close. Yeah, that is a very good strategy. It allows, especially when you have such strong financial backup mm -hmm. to keep a running debt that I'm uh, seeing here, not at such a high interest rate. You did something pretty good here. Uh, and it keeps a flow of payments and it right. shows that you're a good uh, person that can take debt. Now, generally, car debt is not something that I would favor, but in your uh, situation here, um, this is a pretty good play. I like what right. I'm seeing. And that brings your equity on this car to $35,000. So again, we are building on top of that. And it's not over, guys. 
You mentioned as well that you did buy a house. Yes, I did. Okay, and you put a down payment on it, I imagine? Yes. How much did you put? 25,000. Very nice. How long have you been running this house for? Uh, only a month, actually. Oh, okay, so it's fresh. <laughs> probably Ali, let's give you a little bit of a push on the value of equity. So you have about $30,000 yes. worth of equity on that mm -hmm. house as well. Let's keep going, guys. And you also have investment accounts. Yes. What is it, a retirement fund? Uh, yeah, Roth IRA. Oh, I yes. like what I'm seeing. How much do you have on that? Uh, around 10000 mm, I would like to see more. Have I just been... started it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, nice. And you know that you can contribute... Uh, yeah. about up to six six thousand five hundred per year yeah i started it, uh i think it was like last year or around that time okay so you i'm only able to put in a certain amount exactly and that's Max really good out. i like <laughs> to see that yes that's <laughs> awesome yesenia sweet uh and finally you have also as per your statement a small investment account kind of brokerage uh, on stock about three thousand yeah. dollars okay you've, you haven't really discover that area right um i'm trying to so i just kind of put some money just where i thought was you know worth it yeah. okay have but, you been um, doing good with it i think i'm doing okay i'm just okay. trying to discover it okay but, that's fine yeah. and you're not i like what i'm seeing for someone that's discovering that has such strong financial backup you're not going all eggs in one basket I'm scared. exactly <laughs> please go with little steps especially if you're doing individual stock investment guys or crypto right right be careful with that. I've seen people <laughs> ruining themselves, huh? Dogecoin investor and all of that. I well, actually, last year, um, you know, what was it? Dogecoin. Oh my God! Another Dogecoin investor. No. <laughs> yeah, I, oh I, I lost some money, so of after course. that, I I slowed down. Okay. I think I invested around three to four thousand, and I, I think see. I lost it all. <laughs> and after that, I was scared and I was like, man. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. I feel like this Dogecoin uh, shitcoin slap hurt all of us, <laughs> including myself. I was also oh, really? in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so that brings you at 29 years old, Yesenia, mm -hmm. at a total amount of assets of $283,000. Okay. Which is impressive. A quarter of a million bucks. However, you are running as well on a pretty steep amount of expenses. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, which leads me into our next segment, our expenses and debt. So expenses, uh, thank you again for providing us with some of your statements. Um, I want to dive a little bit here into running your business. Mm -hmm. So you have employees that are working for you in yes, that aspect. I do. What, uh, how are you running all of that? Um, so I have a Twitter manager. Okay. Um, they charge me only 500 a month, which I feel like oh, is fair. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then I have a manager that, well, not kind of a manager, but it's like uh, my photographer. A videographer. A videographer. Um, and I, every month, um, he takes a cut of 25%. 25%. Mm -hmm. Okay, that seems, I mean, it's that fair. seems pretty steep, but it's fair, um, especially given that, you know, means you need always a person behind the camera for all of that. Right. Uh, so that's about an expense of 7500 mm -hmm. on that videographer. Okay, and as we continue to walk through, through some of your expenses here, so shopping, how much does shopping cost you per month, you would say? Because uh, probably a business expense. Um, Like 2900 Per month? Yes. Wow. Okay. And that is for like dress or just attires? Dresses, heels, um, you know, lingerie and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. But uh, being a successful top OnlyFans model also costs you quite a bit on personal care. <clears throat> yes. I can see here some expenses for eyes, $600. What do you spend on eyes for $600 <laughs> a month, Yesenia? My lashes. Oh. But I'm, I'm actually taking a break from them. I see. Okay. And you also have other aspects like your nails. Yes. $300. And here you recorded as well an expense for facials. Yes. $300 as well. Okay. So running here at purely your business expenses per mm -hmm. month, you spend it around $10,000. <laughs> Okay, look, you make 30, you know, it takes money to make money. Yes. I'm uh, intrigued as well if you had the opportunity to invest into yourself. Yes. Through potentially surgeries. Let's dive a little bit into this together. Okay. <laughs> okay. What surgeries have you had? Um, so I've had a BBL and a breast augmentation. Okay. How much did the BBL cost you? Um, it was 25000 Wow. That's including everything? Um, no. Um, so with travel and like 
um, you have to hire a nurse to take wow. care of you and all that. It was around thirty thousand. So okay, thirty thousand dollars. That BBO um, actually wasn't my first one. Oh okay. Um, I actually this time around I got a reduction. Wow. Okay, a reduction. Yeah. That is interesting. So you add. One before that? Mm -hmm. How much did that one cost you? It was only seven thousand. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. What makes such a price difference? Um, location for sure and quality. So my first one, um, I used to be very, very slim. Uh, like I was like a hundred pounds, mm -hmm. and I was very insecure at the time, and I just wanted like a big booty, <laughs> and I just kind right. of like did it on like just impulse. impulse. Yes, it was just quick. I didn't think about it. And years later, I just, I started to like love myself more. And I was like, you know what? Very like, nice. I just want to go back to my normal body. Wow. And so th it, this was more of a, um, they still call it a BBL, but it was a reduction. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned that you had, a, you had another type of surgery. Yes. Breast augmentation. Okay. It, yeah. How much did that cost you? Uh, that was 10000 Okay. Yeah. And are you expecting any other new surgeries in the future? I'm kind of in this like era where like I want more of a natural body. Like I don't want anything too enhanced or too crazy. I just want to be happy with my body. Do you feel happy today? Yes, I do. I feel like with all the trends going on, you know, a lot of like young women, they think they have to have like this big crazy bow or boobs. And I feel like you should just go for what makes you happy. Okay. Not what's in style. Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. um, that definitely looks at body image. And uh, briefly here in Aparte, how has your body image changed since you've been involved in this industry? Almost like being in the industry has kind of helped me. I know it sounds kind of weird in a way because I'm like, sometimes it's not realistic. It's just Instagram, it's social media. Mm -hmm. So I feel like right now I'm very happy. I just want to be me you know and what wow. i'm happy with so this brings guys to a very interesting component and i'm glad that you're bringing this mm -hmm. to your attention here we are looking at someone that you know for many could be considered and perfect and any individual is perfect to the eyes of someone but right. you know here in this uh, aspect people are actually willing to pay for um, interacting with someone like yourself. And uh, what is interesting here is to showcase that even for people that have such love that they receive or likes or something, yes. there is still that question of, oh, you know, there is always better out there or I may not be the best here and so on. And it's just like uh, interesting to see that at its core, we are all human, no matter if you're even getting hundreds of thousands of likes. Right, correct. Right? Yes. As we think about some of the rest of your expenses here, I dived into your rent, some of the costs associated with your mm -hmm. gas, insurance, food. <clears throat> you spend quite a bit out uh, <laughs> going out. <laughs> yeah. Nothing crazy though. I mean... Um, a couple I've, I've hundred. had worse months. <laughs> yeah, last month about a thousand dollars, but uh, <clears throat> for some it could be crazy. But when you make thirty thousand uh, per month, you know you just you are able to justify it. Um, and with regards to debt, you do not seem to have any other type mm -hmm. of debt. Well done. I like to pay things off right away. <laughs> you have credit cards? Uh, just one. Oh, what uh, is your credit limit on 500. it? That's it? I've I've had it since I was like 19, mm. so I've never tried to like increase it or anything. Wow, you could. I could. What's your credit score? 800. Yeah. Wow, that's clean. Okay. That's clean. And we'll be potentially discussing about how can we make that even stronger, even behind the numbers. Sometimes you can have a crazy strong credit score, right. but don't get the best loans because you have not shown the ability to take on greater debt. Right. Right. Your house is going to help, though. Looking at how much you need today to survive per month, your senior is around 6500 that is excluding business expenses, okay? Um, which is pretty fair. And uh, as we look into some of the rest of your expenses, your housing is about 8% of your income. We mm -hmm. like it to be below 28, your jackpot. Your transportation is about 5% of your income. We like it to be below 15, you're doing great. I mean, uh, blankly, to be honest, it is tough to not do too great when you're making such a great income. <laughs> So I'm not seeing anything that is too much out of ordinary, which actually brings me here to kind of a next segment. Yesenia, what is today at 29 years old your net worth? With it being a top 0.3% OnlyFans model, today you are showing 273 
thousand dollars worth of net worth. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. However, there are steps that you can potentially improve, which leads me to my next segment, the money case. All right, guys, and we are back here for a money case segment in Money Exposed. If you like this type of content, we please encourage you to support this channel by uh, subscribing and typing in comment that you've subscribed so I can respond to you right away. Yesenia, let's look together at the money case. So in this case here, I am going to describe to you what is the impact of inflation on your saving account. <laughs> Okay, uh -oh. and you will see it is pretty insane. Yeah, every year inflation is hurting you and is hurting every Americans. Right now, it's about five to six percent. It fluctuates, meaning that what is a thousand dollars today is going to cost you a thousand sixty next year for the exact same thing. Now, because you're leaving about two hundred thousand dollars on your saving account, you are losing money every month without even realizing it. Yeah, not in the amount, but in the value that it brings you. By just leaving your money like this, Yesenia, per month, you are losing not $100, not $200. Yesenia, every month, by just leaving your money sitting like this, not giving you any outcome, you are losing $833. Wow for money that's just sitting here. Now it's nice because it's a safe, except for when go bank goes bankrupt, we won't be diving into that subject. It is safe money, but it's still losing that much every month by just living in out there. That's a lot. That's crazy, right? So let's briefly dive into some different options that you have available to you. Okay. Uh, and starting with fairly basic ones that will allow you to fight inflation. Now, this, guys, is not financial advice. I am just sharing some different options. And to be frank, at your level, I would recommend for you to meet with a financial advisor just so that you can have a diversified plan. But let's start with a couple components here that come to mind. Number one, that saving account of $200,000, mm -hmm. I would at least put it into what is called a high yield saving account. This is uh, FDIC protected. So it's of the same level of protection that you have in the big institution that you have into and gives you passively about five to 6% per year. Mm -hmm. Without even having to worry about it, it is a safe investment and allows you to fight inflation. For you, it is an incredible amount. Just by leaving this amount out there, you're going to be able to earn $11,000 per year. Oh, wow, that's good. Insane, right? By yeah. not doing anything around that. So what I, what I think is important is you consider putting some of that money uh, in it and it still allows you to take that money in and out pretty fast if okay. you need that. Number two, I want you to start considering diversifying your investments. So you have a little bit here in stocks, about mm -hmm. $3,000. Maybe you could portion some of that saving account into safe positions like index fund. Let's think for the reason, mm -hmm. the S&P 500, which is the top 500 companies in the US, and they give you historically around 10% on oh, your wow. money. That's amazing. Right? So you put $100,000 you would get from it, uh, well, 10%, $10,000. And it's generally fairly safe, okay? What I want you to start thinking is how can you best leverage money that you have saved up right. without taking too much risks, okay? So this is another option. Third option that I have is please continue to invest into your retirement. Okay. Now, you have other plans outside of just the Roth IRA, Right now, there could be some tax incentives for you to invest a little bit more, maybe not in a Roth IRA, but in general IRAs, right. um, given that you have so much savings. One of the best assets that you have, Yesenia, is time. Because you're so young, mm -hmm. you're going to have decades of investments, and those can completely shift your life. Right. Okay? I give you a, a brief example here. Let's say you invest, I'm just going to take $20,000 into a your saving account, uh, I'm sorry, into a retirement fund, mm -hmm. okay? And you let it grow for 31 years, so till you are 60 years old. The amount of money that you will have on that account when you open it after investing 20000 originally will be 
$384,000. Wow. That's amazing. That is crazy. And you have such a strong position at such a young age to do that. That you will end if you don't make bad mistakes, multimillionaire by the time you retire. Okay. But you're going to have to be smart with your money. Next step, potentially, you should consider looking at real estate investments. There are so many different that's, paths. That's actually um, what I'm trying to... That's kind of why I bought a house. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you bought a house in the Seattle area. <laughs> mm, might not be the best real estate spot. Yeah. I mean, it depends. Look, if it's a house that you think is going to be your forever home, Maybe it was a good spot, but there are so many different markets in the United States that allows you to have much greater return. Yes. And it really depends. I mean, looking at different options here that I'm going to bring to you, you can become, let's say, a hard money lender. And what that means is someone is going to invest your money for a short period of time for a construction or flip, mm. and you can get about 15% of your money while still being fairly safe. You can also invest into, um, you know, rental properties, for example, like Airbnb, which be careful, guys, right now, it's a tough time to get into. I've, I've tried, I've thought about that, okay. but I, I've heard that it's, um, it's not a good time. To be honest, right now, in your position, because you are in a business that can scale, Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a favorite that you don't want to respond to Airbnb, uh, you know, individuals. I read you potentially respond to <laughs> thousands of people on your app that gives you uh, income without taking too much risk. But there are management companies that can allow you to invest into that. You can right. also invest into real estate portfolios as well. So there are so many different paths that are available to you. It is true at your stage that I would try as much as you can to never touch any type of bad debt. And what I define by that debt is going to be credit card debt. No. Mm. Car, so-so. <clears throat> but like payday loans and all of that. But you're past that level. What I mean by that is you should think of yourself as an investor. Mm. Anything else that is not creating wealth or equity to you should be completely discounted. So if you have promotion that exists for a certain card or something... I wouldn't touch any of that, like departmental credit cards or any of that. Forget about those. As we think about increasing the strength of your mm -hmm. credit score, I want you, and this is going to be very rare, guys. Mark my words. I will never really say that. Increase your credit limit. Maybe by opening credit cards, mm -hmm. okay? Credit cards with large institutions that are going to give you rewards, think about Chase, Bank of America, and so on. If you play the game right, you can earn thousands of dollars per year of benefits right. and coverage, okay? Because you're making such a high income, you're going to be able to have access to very high credit limits. And that's going to strengthen your credit score as you think about future investments. Because right now, while you have an 800 and it may appear strong... It is not as strong as you would right. think because you have nothing really in the back to back it up. You know, you have your house that's really going to help you out. I hope so. <laughs> but think about opening different ways that you can increase the amount of accounts that mm. you have under your name, strengthen your credit position, and leverage this in a smart way. Never carry a balance on your credit cards. Okay. So these are different here tricks that I would like for you to start considering. Uh, and, and, and always think of it as, you know, only fans is an industry mm -hmm. that, you know, has these ups and downs, right? And yes, absolutely. right now you are on oh. a rocket, <laughs> right? You are uh, definitely rocketing on this front. But think of it of today using all of that positive income that you're making so that mm -hmm. by the time maybe you're 35 or 40, if you play the game right, you could be completely retired and live of your income that you've created. Right. Okay. That's lovely, guys. Look, um, here, a very, again, strong story from our friend uh, Yesenia with such a successful parkour that's not always uh, ultra easy. We hope that you enjoy the value of the content. And so please, if you like this, Feel free to subscribe and help support our channel. It helps us tremendously. Yes, it was a pleasure to have you with us today. Guys, we hope to see you on the next video. Until then, à bientôt.